Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Let's have a look now at the crime report here on the WHKY News. WHKY's Rob Eastwood is first today as suspects in a crime that occurred at an area power facility have been taken into custody. Here's Rob. The two suspects in this case are charged with breaking into a Duke Energy facility. Both suspects are from Catawba County and they face felony charges. The charges were filed in Iredell County. 38-year-old Nash Arthur Reidlinger of Sandy Wood Court in Claremont and 26-year-old Patrick John Lale of J&R Queen Road in Catawba have both been arrested by Iredell County Sheriff's deputies on three felony counts of first-degree trespassing along with felony counts of larceny and possession of stolen goods or property. Last Friday, deputies responded to the Duke Energy substation on Island Ford Road in Statesville. Regarding a break-in and larceny, Duke Energy employees told deputies an unknown suspect or multiple suspects cut a hole through the fence and attempted to steal a large spool of aluminum wire. The wire was valued at about $7,500. It was found a short distance away in a field. Early Monday morning, detectives were alerted the suspects had returned. Detectives and deputies responded and found the two suspects, Lale and Reidlinger, on the property. They determined that the two suspects broke into the Duke Energy facility last Friday and again on Monday in order to steal property. Both suspects were brought to the Iredell County Detention Center under $25,000 bond apiece. Reidlinger has a court date coming up December 16th. Lale was scheduled to appear in court this past Tuesday. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. WHKY's Ariana Mack is next with two from Hickory Police. Felony drug charges have been lodged against a man arrested on Wednesday morning. 52-year-old John Kelly Froge, whose address was not listed, was arrested November 27th by Hickory Police officers. He's charged with two felony counts of possession of Schedule II controlled substance, one felony count of possession of marijuana, along with a misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. Froge was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond. A district court date is scheduled next Monday. A Statesville woman was arrested on Catawba County drug charges. 31-year-old Jessica Diana Hamill of Kentwood Drive in Statesville was arrested on Wednesday, November 27th by Hickory Police Officers. She's charged with felony counts of possession of Schedule II controlled substance and possession of marijuana along with a misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. Hamill was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $10,000 bond. A district court date is scheduled next Monday, December 2nd. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. That's today's crime report. Thank you all for joining us. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and keep it legal.